Welcome back. Here on the Morning Blend, we've seen our next guest make a table defy gravity, make a signed $20 bill appear inside an orange, and make our minds bend with some incredible card tricks. Illusionist Michael Howell joins us once again, this time with a brand new trick. And of course, he's joined by his assistant, Jerrica. Thank you both so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. Pleasure to see you. So let's talk about how it all started, how you sort of got into magic. What inspired you? Okay, well, my family has a theater company called the Arizona Rose Theater, and they put on on a magic show and a magician performed and when I was a baby I actually mimicked the trick that that magician performed. Um, it was a dove coming out of a newspaper and he made a corn stalk and the dove came out of the corn stalk out of a newspaper. It was pretty cool. Wow. So that's what inspired me and then from that point on I've got magic for Christmas and birthday parties and then went to uh, International Brotherhood of Magician, um, Magician of the Year contest and went to that and then I entered my first contest and came in second place. No way. Uh, State Magician of the Year. Congratulations. Yeah. So then from that point on, I knew it was what I wanted to do. Well, and like, a, like any performer, you know, whether it's a musician, an actor, you're, you're an illusionist and a magician, what kind of struggles have you gone through being an illusionist and being a stunt artist? You know, it's it's really hard um, when it comes to booking the gigs, like mm -hmm. it, like in the clubs downtown or the bar scene, because people are used to musicians. With music, it can go ongoing and people can talk during it, but being a magician, you really have to work hard to sell yourself to different places in yeah. town. Um, so that's, as an illusionist, those are those struggles. Um, and then as an escape artist, you know, you have different struggles like, um, my sister-in-law pushing me in a pool of water with a stick like a hot rod, uh, waiting for me to say I can't <laughs> breathe anymore, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, practicing, you know, those things or trying to figure out um, if this building's structurally sound to hang off of to do the straight jacket escape. I mean, those are some things that are really hard to well, I figure think, out and work through. I think the key is, is practicing more and more, you know, always improving, refining your craft, which you certainly have done over the years. So what kind of stunts do you have coming up that people can look forward Super to? Super excited. I'm a huge fan of Harry Houdini. And uh, I'm doing the water torture cell at Sky Bar on October 20th, 20th, yeah. Uh -huh. um, we have the time is TBD to be determined. And I'm also putting together a bar crawl, a Roaring Twenties bar crawl that will uh, intertwine with the uh, stunt. So I hold my breath for two minutes in plain sight. I'm in locks, I'm in chains. You see me pick the locks. And then I have a wire that goes out of the water tank and it picks the outside lock as well. That's why That's wild. the hardest lock to pick. Wow. Um, so that's one of the stunts. Mm -hmm. And then I'm working with Hotel Congress, the hut and uh, high wire um, to put on a couple other stunts. Those are gonna be the straight jacket escape hanging upside down a couple hundred feet up in the air. Um, the next one is also the death drop where I'm put into a box with chains and locks and then hoisted up and they light a rope on fire and I have to escape before the rope burns through and the <laughs> box falls. Wow, man. And then a classic of Houdini's where he swallows 100 needles and 50 foot of a thread. And then I swallow that and then I regurgitate it and bring it out and it's all strung on the um, well, the string. you are certainly a brave man, and you know, although we couldn't all do those crazy tricks, you do offer a kit for people to sort of get their feet wet in magic. Um, my website is illusionistmichaelhowell.com. We offer multiple small illusions, mm -hmm. but then I have the magic kit here. Online, it's $45. If you see me at my magic shows, uh, you get a great discount. It's only $35. Um, at Mildred and Dildred and Lawn Cantata, it's for sale for $40 right now. Um, so that's a really good deal. So. Uh, they just actually started selling it yesterday. So How cool is that? Super excited. Congrats on that. Not only do you do you sell these, you know, merchandise like this and help people get uh, their feet wet in magic, you also offer camps, right? Yeah, we have camps. Uh, I have one at the Tucson Circus Arts on March 30th from 4 to 6 o'clock. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It, you'll learn the business end of things. You'll learn how to be an assistant. You'll learn how to make magic tricks and how to perform magic tricks. So it'll be a lot of fun. And that's at Tucson. Or, or Academy, Cirque, of uh, uh, yeah. Academy of Tucson. Yeah, Academy Jerica's, of Tucson. Jerica's yeah. got your back. Yeah, I always get them confused because there's Tucson Circus Arts and then there's the uh, the Circus of Tucson Arts or something like that. So. And of course, we can see a lot of uh, magic and illusions at your upcoming show. You've actually brought us, like we were saying at the top, a new trick that you've never actually shown us before. So why don't I step away and, and let you do our trick? Before I do that, I also wanted to put out that I, at the Arizona Rose Theater, we have a couple day magic camp in okay. July. So go on the Arizona Rose Theater Got website. Got it. Yeah. Let's check that trick out. Awesome. Thanks.
Give me a second. <laughs> Follow your dreams. Look at that. Round of applause, Michael Howell. Thank you. I have no idea how you did that. Very <laughs> impressive as always. We're looking forward to the magic trick. I'm going to give them some information so that people can get out there and buy some tickets. Awesome. Thank see you, you guys. Yeah. So thank you, Michael and Jerrica, for joining us. Thanks for having us. Of course. Now you can see Michael live this Saturday at the Arizona Rose Theater inside the Tucson Mall. The show starts at 7 p.m. And for tickets or to learn more, visit ArizonaRoseTheater.com or call 520-888-0509.